things, and what I'm saying is that they may choose not to use because that there are some rounds. You know, yeah, this is what I've been told that they do. Do. after yeah. one, one fear, yeah. they're not using a bus. Those, what I've been told is that when it gets to those places, the bus would fly and get to the next thing. See, I wouldn't say, I'm not joking. Oh, oh, uh, Kate, you haven't heard? <laughs> You've not heard? Okay. You next visit. This is the current Kotoko bus. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is a fabulous. This is a fabulous bird. Fabulous bird. <laughs> you know, and and when I when I when I heard that, it, it's a comment. When I heard that, I said, "Wow, Kotoko next level." But let's move and concentrate on the teams. You know, the players of life. Still, we are you know observing um, COVID nineteen protocols. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing too long. Yes, sir. <laughs> It is our electric wires, man. I mean, I'm going to a red and every fine. There's always a way. Uh, okay. Jalini, Abdul, that's the captain for Drake Sessi. And uh, they have the likes of Makati Ufori, uh, Emmanuel Eji, Maxwell Atta. They have in, in, in the game against Kotokol, they have Jalini, the captain for the side, Maxwell Atta play, Ibrahim Bisa also play. But most of the players are not in the squad today. And these are new players that Karim Zito is putting together. You know, the last game that they played in Takwa against Mediaba. They were able to pick all the three points. I think that has given them the uh, booster to go to Kumasi to play Kotoko because they also may even witness what uh, Lions went there to do. Although they lost, but they played and exposed the Kotoko back line. And Drinks FC under Karim Vito will love to possess, will love to play good football. And that is what will make uh, Prosper so good in Kotoko also play very well. Kotoko is coming with Jackie here and Sharif Mohamed is not only this one lamp. Yes, that is. Yes, that is that he has started. So it tells you that Kotoko is a point and chance to win it. I think it's going to be his first start because tomorrow is in the he's not in the setup. And then I think Patrick Asma is also not there. But they have Abdul Ghani, uh is not the captain for the side, Mubari to see. And then of course the two Cameroonians, George Mikedi and then Frank Mbella. And of course, Kumasi Sadio Man. That is just in Aqua. These are the players Kotoko is coming up against Drinks FC. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. Kari Zito is a Kotoko fan. He's a protocol man, but when it comes to his job, he's a professional. Then you have Richmond, uh, Richard Wood, who are they have the life of someone like that. A former Mediema, regular right back, now sits on the bench of protocol. Sometimes he doesn't even dress at all. They have the likes of Mudasi Usalifu, is on the bench of protocol. One of the key players for protocol in the first round of the league. They have someone, Boatino, properly known as Kokocha. They have the likes of Maxwell Ajiman. Fabio Gama is back into the protocol center after a long way of injury. He's back in the center. He's on the bench. I'm sure. You will see about 10 15 minutes of the game of Hong Kong. Of, of, right. No, Hong Kong is not in the, it's not in the starting lineup. After Stadium last Amakwa, week, Stadium Amakwa is not, they have Safi Taylor. They are on so, the bench. Kotoko have got quality in depth. They have got the numbers. And any I'm of curious, these, though, Amankuna and uh, Hong on the bench? No, they are not on the bench. They didn't make the squad. They didn't make the squad. Mm. Safi Taylor made the squad. A lot of them, I mean, he, he was, uh, uh, a lot of them are there, but they are not in the, in the Kotoko lineup. Anytime they have their chance or they, they have their space, they, they deliver. Justin Afaka went off for some time. Since he took, he came on, Amakwa has been on the bench. Sometimes he doesn't even dress. So that should tell you how um, Dr. Prosper Ogun is managing his, his, his squad. But now he's gradually getting consistency in terms of the team selection. At, at least in a game, he gets about eight or nine players that has played the previous game. So consistency wise, I'm sure he's getting it right. But for that lad, we still have number one way to talk about the game. Yes, um, uh, super captain Hartley, but we've already seen how yeah. when it comes to Master Sassi Kotoko, the moment Dr. Prosper Ogu took over the reins of Master Sassi all what he needed to do was that he just needed to have a winsome 11, 11 side and then make sure he has equally good sats on the bench. And that has been the rebuilding of Master Sassi Kotoko. Formerly, we knew Kotoko would be buying players with huge names, but today, they had to go for the likes of players who play in the second division, third division. And now they've been groomed to a win some side. I believe the midfield of Masa Sanchez Kotoko hold the key to unlock every defense. They are win play with Etuga, Bella, and then um, the chap Dixon Afuapa. These are players who actually don't stand at one place. So it's very, very difficult to match these players. One, Imbella will be on the right, Infege will be on the left. And then within a split second, Infege will be on the left, Imbella will be on the right. It's like they, 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 they know how to swap, change, and then know what they want at, at, at that time. All second balls, 
all second balls in every game falls to Richmond Lanky because he is the kingpin of the team. And if you, you are able to mark Richmond Lanky out, then it means your team will just go bankrupt. Because one, we have players who are equally good to take up all those opportunities that Richmond Lanky may, may be missed. Because when you have Mudasiri Salifu on the bench, Justice Blade is playing. And this is somebody who has actually came from Masa Santikoloko before, gone back to Mediama, and he's back again into the camp of Masa Santikoloko. So he's willing to give his all. Dreams FC, they're very colorful. We have to admire the you know, luminous green or yellow, and then the darker green that comes with it. Uh, yeah, they're, they're still adhering to the protocol. That the way discipline is very important. It's the branding. Yeah. yeah, it's all about branding. The branding that has been the main thing from last season is still continuing because when you have the likes of Legon City, they got the pitches. The pitches for the pitches, I don't want to go there because we have said it countless on occasions. And the one in charge, I will keep on saying it, Kwan Banyaku, he should make sure that where whatever he's doing now, there are certain stadia that he close them down. He doesn't work alone. If you have a team of experts, you are the chair, you close down uh Carl Reynolds for innovations, for things that need to be done. You went there and you felt it's okay and then you opened it for us to go back. The things that we complain about, they're still there. Even in Dreams FC, they are pitch. I Look mean, at the picture. Look at the picture. This yeah, is the yeah, next yeah, the, the Kumasi Sports Stadium pitch is better. I mean, it's not 100%, but I think it's one of the best pitches in the country. I mean, let's you know, put it into perspective. And it, it affords you good football. Um, Akra Sports Stadium also, but I think Akra Sports Stadium comes under more uh, pressure. The astro turf, they're not natural turfs, and it brings its own challenges and also its benefits. You've got to look at both ways, depending on where you want to go. But international football, by and large, is natural green grass. FIFA's international competitions, CAF, is green grass. So even if you, I think the two big boys had to go to Kwene, a couple of others are beginning to show signs that this is the structure of play we want. This is where maybe in a year, if either of them, if both qualify to the Champions League, you can have hope that they will be matching up to some of these uh, guys playing at the moment. Yeah, so really good football in the Champions League. Yeah, they'll, they'll play good football. Why? Because at the end of the season, your best player is not going to be he's going to these teams that you just mentioned their names. And at the end of the day, yeah, very good facilities, very good training pitches. So they are buying your best players. And you think you can compete them? There's no way you can, you can compete them. Because I got so to have to, to an Algerian side. We have Precious Boa from the U20. Dreams FC, he went to Tunisia. We have Eric Bishop Esso, he went to Algeria. And a lot of them are also going to do a football in Egypt, uh, a long day in, in, in Algeria. And then um, former um, Detroit United captain Moro is in Egypt. Um, Mosquito, I mean, a former key player for Emina Sharks is in Egypt. All these players are within this yeah, region or this continent. And at the end of the day, when it comes to the clash to play a competition with them, you think you can compete with them? There's no way. There's no way. I'm not saying that if the, if the player deserves to go, he should go. But the point is that our best players are being sold to those teams that we are going to compete with them. Yeah, how do you expect to go beat them? How do you expect to do that? So at the end of the day, it's better we, we, we rethink our branding, we redo our things right. Other than that, yeah, we will go and we will hit. And then we'll come back. We go, we hit, and then we'll come back. So we'll just be here and we'll be talking about playing at Kokoto. Although he has come on as a sub to play one of the games in the first round of the league. This is his start for Kotoko. Can you and Mubarak? But this Ali Hushal, he works this in number 19. Very bulky striker for Dream FC. He should be a player. Kotoko defense should be worried of. He is very strong in the air, very bulky. But on the right side, they have a young player called Isa Ibrahim. Who works with this in number 12? Very skillful player, a very left footed, very skillful player on the on the dark side. And on the other side, we have a Jenny Mwati who works with this in number 11. These are players that they are on any day, on any very good day. They can disperse every defense in the Ghana Premier League. This is where the Kotoko back line needs to be very worried. But when we talk of Milford, Sharif Mohammed has cemented his position or his role in Dr. Prosper Ogun's setup. Justice Blay has made sure that Richard Godu will find himself on the bench. Not until he got to Kotoko, it was Richard Godu, Mudasiru, uh, and then Richmond Lampin, and Fabio Gama. And now 
he is starting the game in midfield. So it tells you that when the going gets tough, Kotoko is going to have two players as a pivot and there's just more landing in front of them that will be giving the passes to either Frank Bella and of course George Ikeje. Just in a proper, yeah, one v one, one v two, he's very intelligent with the ball. So um, I foresee Kotoko controlling the midfield and when a team controls a midfield, yeah, that should tell you how problems we are going to have. But Augustine and Japan should be this power power for Kotoko this afternoon because he is the one going to do a lot of damages 